Hello everyone, my name is Rod Khalil. I am the Workplace Health and Safety Executive Director for our Standards and Innovation team. Over the past several weeks, we've had the experience of our continuous masking directive and we're here to answer some questions that we've been hearing about continuous masking. So if you're a healthcare worker and you're away from work out in public, it's okay to use either a cloth mask or a medical mask. A healthcare worker in a, in a corporate or administrative setting will also have no contact with patients or residents. And in those situations, it's, it's also okay to use either a cloth mask or a medical mask. However, always choose a medical grade procedure mask if you will have or can anticipate contact with any patients or residents. If you're going to wear a cloth mask at work, it's important that you bring more than one to work with you so that you can change it if it becomes soiled or contaminated. Store your mask after taking it off in a paper bag or a sealed container, remembering that a Ziploc bag may actually, because of warmth and moisture, promote growth of microorganisms on the mask. Always handle the mask by the ear loops and clean your hands before and after touching your mask. Do launder the mask every day as you would your work clothes in a hot cycle using regular soap. There are lots of good sources out there for what to look for in a mask. Health Canada suggests a double layer mask using different fabrics or a mask with a pouch that you can place a coffee filter or paper towel in. The CDC recommendations are very, very similar to the Health Canada recommendations. The World Health Organization recommends a triple layer mask using three different types of fabric, cotton for the section that's next to your mouth, polypropylene non-woven for the middle layer, and an outer layer which is fluid resistant, but is still breathable and comfortable. In a non-clinical setting, it's okay to put your mask upside down with the outer side down on a clean surface for reuse or on a hook as long as it is not soiled or hasn't become contaminated. So an example of this is when you're at work in your own office alone. There is no five second rule. In a clinical setting, you should be changing and disposing of your medical mask when it is moist, soiled, or after contact with patients of any type of isolation precautions. Remember, masking is only one part of source control. Don't forget to clean your hands frequently and practice physical distancing. Together, we do amazing things every day.